a very good afternoon Dutch bike blogger here on his way to home what has it been a busy 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 day unbelievably busy but the time flew today at work time flies well when you're having fun but it's also time flies when you're busy well getting home four o'clock A really really small chance of really really small rain and I would like to get home in the dry So we're gonna make a fast ride home on the Sinterklaas day. By the way, in, that of, in addition to my talk this morning, Sinterklaas and Santa Claus Sinterklaas and Santa Claus have some things in common Sinterklaas is moving on a white horse Santa Claus is with reindeers in a sled Sinterklaas is dressed in orange has a beard and is old there's a Santa Claus Santa Claus's helpers are called Black Pete and Santa Claus has his elf Santa Claus lives in this far away place the North Pole Santa Claus lives in Spain relatively close by the knowledge we have now when I was younger it was end of the world and of course Santa Claus and Santa Claus both give gifts to children surprises mainly nice gifts also Santa Claus had a Santa Claus Santa Claus has a wish list of children who to know what they want and Santa Claus also has a wish list well Santa Claus is coming on the roof through the roof on the chimney also Santa Claus does the same thing well he is standing on the roof and the black peat is going down on the chimney that's why they are black so a lot of things are the same in Holland we also fear uh, we also celebrate Santa, Cla Santa Claus no Christmas I mean the Santa Claus people choose to not to do the Santa Claus and put it with Santa Claus package and surprises and gifts under the Christmas tree But I have to say Sinterklaas is the typical Dutch tradition
mainly the same but really different. Always had Santa Claus at home when I was younger with the family. Very nice. I also had my birthday around Santa Claus. Also, a little bit, well, gifts from Santa Claus and gifts from my birthday, always combined. We had a busy December always in the, in the family. My grandmother on December 1st, Santa Claus. Then a great grandmother was also birthday on Santa Claus, I think on the 6th or so. Well, me a few days later. Then on the 13th, my uncle. And then, well, now my niece on the 14th. And then we had Christmas and New Year's Eve. So we saw the family a lot in December. Well, big chance there's some Swarte Pieten uh, walking down the street. These colored people, colored clothes. Well, big chance of filming Zwarte Piet, <laughs> then you know. Probably lost Santa Claus or something because they were searching for him. At least that was the idea I got from them. Same thing though, Zwarte Peter spent from Spain do perfectly speak English. Also the Santa Claus speak Netherlands, or English Netherlands they do speak Dutch. And also Sinterklaas do, does speak Dutch, of course they are here every year, so they have probably picked the language up, and there are lots of visits they did. This was not a Zwarte Piet you saw. Well, nice opportunity, me I'm talking about Santa Claus, the festivities on December 5th, and what do I see? Three black pits. It's a nice coincidence, isn't it?
that's why I turn around just to have a good view hopefully because it's getting dark and we all know what happens when it gets dark yes the camera will not pick up everything nice bike three wheel bike three two wheels in the front one in the back tricycle bike By the way, it's said that people are off from work early due to the celebration of Santa Claus today. I have to go shopping. I have to eat something today. So get some food tomorrow. Just warning a little kid driving without hands on the steering wheel that I'm coming. So it doesn't make a turn of 90 degrees to correct the cycling. And he falls into me. Don't want to lay down on the ground. Always be careful. Try to stick to the rules. Children and put a light on your bike. Well, busy for the traffic light <laughs> and it turns green and everybody's waiting and I'm waiting too because it's no use to step on the pedals. First of all, the people in front of me have to get away. That sometimes takes a little bit of time. Keeping outside the door zone of the cars. You never know when it flips over the door. Luckily the car stayed behind me just to wait. It's a good thing. I just want to pass you. Well, it's not possible, but they still do. Want to pull through.
when I get home I will put my backpack on the couch click on the camera put off the camera and go to the store I need to have some food so that's what I'm going to do I don't know how long this ride is, but probably under 18 minutes or so. Well, I have to thank you for watching and I will see you this tomorrow morning again.